I'm going to show you how to do a provisional cast on right onto the knitting needle using a crochet hook. It's a video suggestion I've had from lots of people. Thank you. Keep those suggestions coming. And this video is sponsored by Knitter's Pride. I am actually going to use two of their products that I love from my own collection um, to demonstrate this video. The first one I'm using are their Knitter's Pride Symphony Dreams crochet hook. This is my, my own crochet hook set using their uh, Symphony Dreams Birchwood hooks. And the Symphony Dreams, uh, actually the other product is Symphony Dreams as well. It is a laminated birchwood that has, um, uh, it's slick, but not as slick as metal. I find it's warm to the touch, it's really easy to work with, and I like using them for DPNs because it does have a little more stick to the needles than, um, than metal. And depending on the yarn I'm using, it's good. Um, so the needles don't slide out. I also really like their crochet hook. I like the way the grip is on these and it has a really nice all-purpose hook part to it. And the, in this set, it comes with the case. All the Needles Pride needle sets come with the case. This is eight different hook sizes from E to L or 3.5 millimeters to eight millimeters. And then I'm also using their Symphony Dreams um, sock needle set. And just like the hooks, the needles are all in different colors. I'll give you a close-up here. The knitting needles have a nice um, medium taper, medium tip on them, just sharp enough to be able to work uh, increases and decreases in your stitches. Anyway, I want to show you the technique. Um, let's go ahead and take a look. Here I have my uh, knitting needle, sock needle set in the different colors. I think they're so pretty. I love these needles. And... And actually, I use them all the time. They have the size printed on the outside of the needle, but not on this size anymore because I wore it clean off. I'm going to use this crochet hook. Okay, these kind of look the same, but I have a crochet hook and a knitting needle here. And instead of picking up stitches from the spine of a crochet chain, I'm going to work them right onto the knitting needle. So I'm going to tie a knot in my yarn so I can identify, identify the slip knot end from the other end. And then I'm just going to chain a few stitches. Okay, just to get me started. Now for the first one, I'm holding my uh, crochet hook in my dominant hand and the yarn in my non-dominant hand. Put the knitting needle right over that yarn, grab the yarn with the crochet hook and pull it through. Then wind the yarn behind the knitting needle, grab the yarn with the crochet hook, and pull it through. That is it. Behind the needle, grab the yarn with the crochet hook, and pull it through. There's a very important note. When I finish this up, I'll give you at the end of the video Once you get the number you need, you can just chain a few stitches and break the yarn and pull that last loop through, pull that end through the last loop, and there you go. The very important note that I want to make is in all of my patterns, I have you picking up stitches from the spine of the crochet chain. When you've uh, sort of cast on, provisionally cast on, right onto the knitting needle, you have your provisional cast on in the waist color yarn and you haven't actually used your, your garment yarn, your sock yarn, whatever it is. So the first, the first thing that you want to do to catch up with a pattern that has you picking up stitches from a crochet chain is to knit across. Then you're caught up with the pattern. But um, this just saves you from having to pick the stitches up. They're kind of already on the needle, but knit across, you'll be caught up with the pattern that has you picking up the stitches from the spine of the crochet chain. That was the very important note I didn't want to forget about. Many thanks to Knitter's Pride for letting us use their tools and for sponsoring this video. Good luck.